Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have the high grade build divers GM3 Beam Master. Um, now originally I was not gonna purchase this kit at all. Um, to be honest, like the colors, um, really just the the mold that it borrows from does not interest me. And I have actually seen a couple of reviews and I'm even right now I'm still not impressed. But I kind of stand by uh, kind of a rule of thumb. Is I, it's hard for me to give a 100% concrete judgment of something until I've built it. Um, so I decided to go ahead and take the plunge and buy this. I'm gonna go ahead and build it, review it, and if I do not like this, like if there's not one redeem redeemable quality with this, uh, then I'll just go ahead and I'll do a giveaway, you know, whenever. Um, but as of right now, you know, I just want to go ahead and build it, get it out of the way, uh, do a nice little review, kind of just a personalized opinion on it, and then we'll just go from there. Okay, so um, before I get into talking about the, the kid and the box and everything, um, I did get two uh, campaign, um, like little, I guess, customizable parts. Um, this one looks pretty dope. I like the swords in this one. So I'm probably going to keep this one, but this one is, is, is just essentially a minigun or Gatling gun. I think pretty much a minigun. Not really too, you know, interested in this one. So I'm going to include this one in, in a future giveaway. So, um, you know, just kind of keep a lookout for that. Okay, so taking a look at the front cover art, um, I think it looks pretty good. You know, I like the, the thrusters pretty much on the legs as well as on the backpack. Um, I'm still not sold on the rifle. I do like the missile pods. Um, the side skirts, uh, they look okay, but they look very like slapped on. Um, the color scheme is okay. You know, there's not really too many orange um, mobile suits out there. So, you know, I, I'll give the, the color scheme a pass. Um, but I'm pretty sure that this uh, actual scene is going to be, well not maybe the, the actual scene that you're seeing right here, but the kind of landscape that you're seeing in the background is going to be a part of episode 3 uh, because you do see in the preview that they're going to be in the city. So this is pretty cool. It looks like they might, might be bringing more of the, um, the actual kind of real world uh, or real anime um, type of scenery into the box art, which is really, it's, it's fine to me. Um, but overall, hey, I, I like the front art, and let's go ahead and take a look at the sides. Okay, here you're gonna go uh, and see some action poses. So you see the changeling rifle right there, and then you're gonna see like the beam rifle, missile pods, beam saber, um, shows you the uh, front visor, the large missile launcher right there on the sides. So it looks pretty cool. Don't really mind too much of the action poses. And looking right here on the side, you see the rifle kind of has multiple different uh, positions that it can take. You can either slap it onto the side of the uh, the skirt, which I'm guessing kind of enhances the overall uh, energy propulsion or maybe just the overall damage output. Not really too certain. Uh, probably going to have to wait until uh, next episode to really see the functionality of that. Um, but you also see the lineup of the build custom, um, you know, line. So we already have um, the build, the uh, double O build diver. We have the uh, H2 Magnum. We just got the uh, Beam Master. We don't, I don't think we got the Changeling rifle uh, parts. I don't think we have um, a couple of other little parts that you're seeing in there, like the, the different weapons. Um, and we have not got that Grimoire uh, high grade. Uh, yet, so I think the I think that one's coming out next month if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And here's a front and rear shot of the mold suit. Uh, looks like this is uh, painted up because uh, what I've seen so far is that in those missile pods, there's no stickers and it's not pre-painted with that uh, black uh, outline. Um, so this looks like it's already kind of like just detailed up a little bit but as you can see right there on the side you see a little bit of brief description of the mobile suit itself and as you can see right here it retails for 1800 yen okay so we're starting off with the gm3's runners obviously starting off with runner a right here um the gm3 came out in 2011 so that's honestly not that long ago 2011 was not a bad year because i think that was the year that uh, gundam age was released and a lot of those high grades were fantastic so I, I'm not really too uh, certain exactly what the quality of the GM3 was. I never built it, um, but you know it's 2011, so maybe there, maybe it's not really that bad of quality. Um, so looking at this runner right here, obviously we're gonna have parts of like the shield, um, you know, the body, the legs, all that stuff. So I uh, got some waist parts right here. Um, we'll have to check the manuals to see how much of this is going to be used, um, but it looks pretty promising so far. 
All right, next you're gonna have runner B, which is gonna be the shield right here. And then you're gonna have the missile pods which is gonna be mounted on the shoulders, which isn't really too bad. Uh, you can see that it's pretty much com uh, completely white on the background. So I'm gonna have to paint all that black and um, just clean up the little missile pods. I know the, the black's probably gonna rub off on that. So I'm gonna do as good of a job as I can on painting the background black. And here we have C1, which is still part of the GM3 from 2011. Um, looks like you're gonna have the hands right there at the bottom. You're gonna have a um, little beam rifle right here. You're gonna have parts of the backpack. Uh, looks like you have thrusters right here. So just some basic stuff, uh, some inner frame stuff as, of, uh, as far as joints and everything right here. So everything looks kind of basic as far as Universal Century uh, GMs go. And here you have C2, which is pretty much a duplicate of uh, one side of the C1. And here is Runner D, which is more of the or orange armor. Um, this is parts of the leg armor, well, I guess uh, thrusters. So I'm thinking I might do silver on these little parts right here. Um, either silver or I might do gold. Um, let me know what y'all thinking. I'm probably thinking more silver. I think silver is just a, a better uh, contrast color for the orange. Um, so we'll see. But you also got some beam sabers right here. You got sh uh, the shoulder parts right there and just some leg parts and everything and the, the head visor right here. So a lot of stuff to go ahead and utilize. I'm not really seeing much panel lines, uh, which is to me like not really that great of a thing I love panel lines. Um, but I guess, you know, maybe this isn't gonna be too bad. Okay, moving on to the new runners that uh, accompany with this kit. Uh, you're gonna have G1, which is gonna be the green visor, which looks really, really good. Here you're gonna have E1 and E2. Uh, so the side's just gonna be duplicated right there, but this is gonna be parts for the head, and uh, looks like some new leg parts, as well as those little, um, I guess the waist, um, I don't even know what it's gonna be called. Uh, but I think I think this might fire something, but I have to rewatch the episode, uh, the first episode, to see exactly what he did with these. And here you have G2. Uh, I'm actually not sure what these parts are. Uh, they're white parts, so I think they might just go to um, to the the little like waist um, booster parts, or they might be something to the head. I think this part right, yeah, this part right here is definitely for the uh, the top of the head, but I'm not really too sure what these two white parts are. And lastly, for the new parts, uh, exclusively for the body, uh, you're gonna have runner F, which is gonna be parts for the uh, side of the legs, uh, or uh, side armor, and then this is gonna be the top of the knees. Uh, not really too sure what these two parts are. Um, I have to go ahead and check it out, but overall you get a whole bunch of new white parts. And here's a changeling rifle, so it's only gonna be one runner. Uh, but overall, it doesn't really look too bad, but yeah, this is the rifle right here. And you will get a large poly cap sheet. Um, so I don't, I'm not really too sure how much of this is gonna be utilized, but I don't think this entire sheet's gonna be used, so you're probably gonna have a lot of leftover uh, poly caps to utilize for maybe future kits. You get two beam sabers. Okay, you're gonna get this uh, nice big old sticker sheet. Um, the green right up here is not really gonna be too bad to go ahead and paint. I'm not really too sure what this tan part's gonna be used for, but all this gray, that's easily painted as well, so I'm not really gonna see too many issues uh, coming with this. And looking at the manual, you just see the front cover. Um, you know, it's kind of like your generic basic cover. Uh, you get some color right there on the inside. Uh, it's fairly long. And as you can see right here, there are gonna be some X's on some uh, certain parts. Looks like it's gonna be mainly for the polycap sheet as well as some of the old runners. The, I don't see anything for the new runners because that'd be kind of weird to X out some of the new stuff. You get some more um, color stuff right here. This is for the changeling rifle. And on the back, you're gonna go ahead and see the customizable plan, uh, just information on the weapons and the different armaments of the mobile suit itself. And you can see right here that the material gunplay is going to be the GM3, which looks really, it, it looks great. Um, I, I'm kind of interested to see uh, maybe a review of this to see uh, exactly how the quality of the GM3 was so I can kind of have a better understanding about how the quality of this kit is going to be. And then over here you're going to see the color guy which uh, probably not going to utilize most of this color. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do some clear uh, green as well as some gray stuff, uh, some light gray 
and some basic gray, but uh, don't really see myself do, having to do any kind of yellow parts because that's all molded already. Um, the white's already molded, so it should be a fairly easy kit to go ahead and just uh, detail paint up. Well, that's it for me, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on building this. I'll probably get done with the head, the body, and the arms tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll finish up with the rest of the mold suit, do the review, get the pose review out there as well, and just be done and over with, with this uh, model. And I'm, I'll make my final verdict on whether or not I think it's a great kit and if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along to someone else. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the review tomorrow, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.